it's out wide to Ginnelly. Ginnelly coming forward. Ginnelly with the cross, quick cross. Reed flicks it on. Marriott's chasing that on. Yep, brings it down. Arnold, back to Reed. And a goal. Oh, Billy Knott, sorry. Billy Knott scores again. Perfect start. Havigan with the long throw to the box. Waterfall. The header out to Ginnelly. To Woodyard. Oh, it's taking a deflection, but that is in. Top corner. Uh, Bradley Wood knocks it out wide to Ginnelly. Across. Matt Reed front half. 3 0. Generally plays the cross, and Marriott's right there to pick it up and put it away. Woodyard to Reed. Reed, oh wow. Matt Reed. Fantastic for a big man. Absolutely fantastic. And that makes it 2-0. Uh, Marriott plays the ball in. Raggett plays out to a car. A car forward to Marriott. Marriott has a go, and the keepers spilled that. Absolutely just spilled that. It's 4-0 Lincoln. Plays the ball through. Uh, oh, Marriott. Could have been a penalty there. Oh, Matt Reed's put it away anyway. Not quite sure what happened. Too busy watching the uh, what could have been a penalty, but the one up. Hello and welcome back to episode two of the invasion. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> just the one. Uh, just the one since last time. Uh, you may have seen them already in the, in the little highlight reel we did at the start there. I don't know if I really needed to make this transfer. Just wanted to. I like Kenneth McAvoy. Um, I've had him on FMs over the years. So it was a little bit of uh, a want more than a need. It definitely wasn't uh, a necessity, that's for sure. But he's put in a couple of good performances already. Um, definitely more consistent than Nathan Arnold. And as mentioned last time, Keegan Everett has gone on loan as well as Andy Wright. There's a couple more to come. I've made offers for a goalkeeper and a left-back, which I feel like are the two. Oh, and a striker. That was the three. Uh, that we still need to sort of fill as a backup but hopefully that's wrapped up very soon obviously after five games there's not a whole lot to look at but we're top of the table it's really all that matters to me as uh, tactics i don't think we're going to change anything the guys have had about a week off um terry hawkridge is back uh to playing fitness he's not back to to match fitness but i've, I've popped him on the bench due to the uh versatility across the middle there obviously i know i've got arnold who can do both as well who's been Superseded by McAvoy. Don't don't sort of look at that. Um, he has looked better on the pitch. So yeah, I've dropped the keeper as as a few people do with the lower league stuff because you've only got the five subs. But I've gone for versatility. Um, so you know you've got Beavers plays all three positions. Long can play either or. Um, he's actually been looking good, but Bradley Woods looking just as good. So I'm not interested in upsetting the chemistry at the moment. Um, I say Hawkridge and Arnold both versatile across the middle can do either or. Um, and then Akar is the only fit striker I've got at the moment. Um, Whitehouse can play up front and it's something I'm going to look at. He's just not quite there fitness-wise yet, and Akar's done, done pretty well. Anyway, into the game. Paul Farman plays it out to Sam Habigam. Big run-up for a very short ball, but whatever. Habigam knocks it forward to Reed. Marriott's going to get there. If he can put this away, oh, he's hit the post. We've hit the post so many times lately. Brilliant first start, minute and a half. Waterfalls picked that up to Woodyard. Woodyard's gone along to Marriott as well. Actually offside. Good strong start to the game, even if it is a minute 40. So, Macclesfield are starting to pick it up a bit, but when they're shooting from that far out, Really not worried. They can do it all day long. Um, we're not doing a whole lot. Maybe I'm going to drop this to standard, I think. I don't know if we can really look to control a game away from home. Uh, Marriott's had another crack there, but it looks like things have been saved. A couple of half chances already. Uh, nice and early. Pass completion dips up and down. Um, I'm sure how I feel about it, but the headers are fantastic. We win just about every ball that, that's up in the air. Oh, it's pretty pretty drab this one, isn't it? Camera, let's put that back to 2D. Should have done that before we even started. 
I personally prefer it. I know some have said it helps them. Uh, a lot of nerves. Why are we nervous? Don't worry about it. Keep going. I don't want to tell them about unlucky because they haven't really done a lot. But let's see if we can find any weaknesses. What are they doing? Coming through the middle. We're going through the middle. That Matt Reed has done a lot. Matt Reed's sort of the key man. So we'll just go through the middle. Like I said before, I've dropped the higher line. I've dropped the uh, the closing down because it keeps telling me to do it. Uh, the shorter passing doesn't seem to be working though. It tends to be a lot of uh, not long range balls, but longer than I'd like. Um, yeah, don't bother comment commentating on this one because, as everybody knows, first and last highlights are usually nothing. But I'd like to see us pick it up. Second half, they are just. Uh, Wellens with a free kick. Plays it over to the top. Raggett clears it out. Habigan's going to chase that down. He's got a lot of space. He goes forward. Don't hit it. Just keep going. Keep going. Hit it way too early into Matt Reed. Reed got. If he plays it out wide to Ginnelly. Ginnelly's been fantastic. Beating another man. Not. Not. Into Marriott. Over the top. Marriott's got the pace. And he's just had it nicked away by McComb there. Uh, Habigan. Back into Not. Woodyard. Woodyard and Knott have formed a fantastic little partnership. Marriott, again, gone the same sort of place, and he's hit the post again. Twice in a game. Done basically the same thing. But we're all over them. And maybe we could look to control it. McAvoy, out wide. What's he got? Into Reed. And cleared away. Woodyard. Had a go, but they've cleared it. We're looking good, though. We're looking very strong. Right, except they've had eight long shots. And yeah, I'd be a bit frustrated if I was their manager. Uh, Marriott seems to be he's doing a lot. He's not converting. I've also picked up three yellow cards. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Wood with the throw. Waterfall on the front post. Out to Ginnelly. Ginnelly with a shot. A Marriott almost there. McAvoy has a crack and hits. Oh, he's hit the woodwork as well. Oh my. That three. Three clear cut chances, three half chances. Really not with a corner. It's cleared out. McAvoy is there on the edge of the box. Looking to play that back to Knott. Great ball. Knott plays it through. Matt Reed. He's looking for it, but it wasn't quite there. Alright. I'm going to put a car on again because he's looked dangerous. He hasn't finished anything, but he's definitely making an opportunity. And. Look, I said McAvoy was doing well. He hasn't. Not today. So we're going to put Hawkridge. That is his natural position. Give Hawkridge a run out. See what happens there. If needs be, we'll switch back into the middle later on. Encourage the guys. There seem to be a lot of nerves, and I don't understand why. Team talk. Passionately encourage. I don't need to be nervous. You're all over them. They've done nothing. Abigam. Big throw. Into Waterfall. Flicks it into Woodyard. Woodyard has a crack, but it's caught a deflection, and they've cleared it away again. Bradley Wood, with all the time in the world, what's he going to do with it? I'd like to see him go forward, and not just hump it. She's done into Norburn, and Norburn's going to pick that up. Over to Surridge. Surridge. Played it into no one, but no one's gone there to... Oh, Billy Knott. Fantastic recovery. Billy Knott's looking forward again to Matt Reed. Back to Knott. If he can go forward, a car could break. He's got the pace. No one's there to support him though, he's on his own. Reed's arriving late. Reed's had a oh, it's caught a couple of deflections, but it's in. All these chances, we finally scored. McCarr has done magnificently. Almost makes me not want to sign another striker. McCarr, great ball. Reed's cracked it off the defender, and the keeper is been a just terrible reaction there. Right. Tell him to concentrate because we've got the goal. Don't want to lose it given our finishing has seemed to be lacking today. Oh, another highlight or cancel the substitution. Woodyard. Got time, he's got space. Plays it out to Hawkridge. Hawkridge do on the left. Gonna take his man on. Played that back into Alex Woodyard. Looking for a pass. There's not much on offer for him. If he goes into Matt Reed, flicks it on. There we go. Our car's picked it up. And see? Gets himself into brilliant spaces. He just doesn't 
Maybe it's the mentals. He's not quite there. He's not ready to finish these shots off. We're absolutely dominating them. Orkridge into Waterfall. Waterfall's cleared it out. Havigam's got all the time in the world if he can put a second ball back in, as he has, into Matt Reed, who's not done a lot with that. Okay, we're going to look at that sub. Really not. Playmaker. What's Terry Hawker? A passing vision. Yep, that works fine for me. Um, Nathan Arnold can come in. Billy Knott's pivotal. You know, the 6-7 uh, the isn't quite convincing. But he's involved in everything. Which I suppose is as the playmaker you'd expect. A little bit of fitness issues. I'd like to see those, you know, they've had a week off. Macclesfield, I don't know what they're doing. I'd like to see a few more goals. This is what I'm talking about. We're all over teams, but we're just not finishing a lot of the shots. You know, Matt Reed tires out, but I've got I haven't got another target man. I've played a car and Marriott, that's sort of a deep line advance for combination. Dangerous, but again we're not finding the goals at the moment. I think there's gonna be much happening. But it looks like we're gonna get another victory to uh establish ourselves firmly as leaders. Which I do obviously I, I love early on. Do have gates here in about 48 hours, so there's going to be some fitness issues. Should be, there it is, 1 0, Lincoln City. We will take it. Yeah, I'd like to say that they weren't good enough, but the fact is, they've done, they've won it. Good win. You know, they're not something I will look at, you know, Marriott. I could tell him that he's. Uh, you weren't at your best. You deserve to come off. I don't really want to be messing around with something like that just yet. While we're winning, you want to keep keep the morale high, and every victory, regardless of the domination, is good for the team. All right. I think that's what we're going to run. We're going to run the four one four one today. Um, Rotational issues mostly. Uh, so Waterfall and Ragged, Abigam. Not as fit as I'd like, but I don't really want to interrupt too much. We've already rotated. You know, Long's come in for Wood. I'm going to sit this one out entirely. Uh, Power and Lesniak, so the midfield is brand new. Uh, Hawker just starting on the left. And then just a bit of a, a mixed bench there. And I'd like to see them come through, given the chance. So we are at home, so we will run troll mentality. See what happens there. If I need to adjust it, I'll adjust it. You'd like to think home advantage. A few shots early, very wide. Not sure about Marriott up front of his own. Long with a throw to Marriott. Picked up by Ginley to Hawkridge on the edge of the box. He's hit the crossbar. What is going on? This is woodwork. Now three in the last game, one already today after 10 minutes. Abigam's picked up that nicely. My oh my. Woodwork, what is going on? Bridge and Marriott having a bit of a crack. Lesniak's had a go. Nothing on target, apparently. There's obviously gone over, they've gone wide. Are we working it into the box? We are working it into the box on lower tempo. To me, that should be more than enough. Spend a little bit of time getting these shots on target. Waterfall's struggling. Or half time. I don't know if I want to sub off a centre back. Obviously, unless he's injured. Anford to Ayala. Next by Long. Ginley's got plenty of space. If he can get forward, and if we're going to marry it, wait in front in the box there. Stop by Maluba. To Ayala, if you can recover, get back and recover. Good work. Brundle to Balassa. Balassa over to Fuller. Plenty of men. He's got not too many options. There's three of you there. Alan Power. Picks it up. Plays it back to Paul Farman. Approaching half time, I'd like to get a goal to put us in front. See what happens. Paul Farman played it massively long to Hawkridge. Hawkridge has picked it up into Marriott. Marriott, there we go. There you go. Brilliant. Probably Paul Farman deserves the assist on that, quite frankly. A brilliant ball. Okay, yeah, Marriott. Look at that. Between two defenders. Got like the keeper again. Probably should have done better, but we know that's what FM like. Right, coming into half time. One goal lead. We're in control. Um, let's just have more of the same. Put up. Nerves. Maybe it's uh, 
personality issue. We get balanced. Come on, guys. All right. Carry on. Overall, see this. I'd like to see this continue. All right, a waterfall free kick out to Habigan. Habigan should look wide again to Hawkridge. He does. Hawkridge has cocked that up a bit, played it off York. All right, close that down. You got space long, long over the top to Marriott. That could be offside. Oh, Adam Marriott, stunning goal. Adam Marriott brings it off his chest, looks really uncomfortable. I think they come off the keeper's hand actually. Probably unfortunate. Quite the ugly animation. Right. From the kickoff. This is hopefully not going to be an immediate goal. We'll tell them to concentrate. But I don't think it's going to take effect just yet. Burrow over the top. Barman should have come to get that. That is absolutely shocking. I don't know what he was doing. Whether you set the sweeper keeper or standard goalkeeper, he should have come and got that. That is disgraceful. Look at it. All the time in the world. He just stops. And... Ah, oh, mate. That better not be... All right, Hanford with a free kick. Plays out to Ayala. Cut out by Long. Finally, he's going to close down Maluba. Plays it into Brundle. Brundle back to Ayala. Ayala goes through to Barlasa. Bar is open again, and he's put it in the bottom corner. 2-2. Two, two. What is going on? Hmm. Standard. Tighten up. Passionately. Tighten up. What are you doing? Generally, scored a cracker before. Uh, Woodyard. Ball to Lesniak. Haven't seen much of Lesniak. Plays it to Power. Power's gone looking weird. To Ginnelly. Ginnelly with the cross. Marriott. And he's put it in the back of the net. Marriott with a hat-trick. In just over an hour. I was a little bit concerned about playing one striker, but Marriott's done very, very well. I still don't quite feel comfortable enough. Generally, no, just a short ball. Bender here, probably a little bit out of position, but uh, we'll take it. All right, substitutions. Going to drop power to the defensive spot. Because he's probably got the better defensive stats, aside, despite the fact he doesn't. Uh, ball winning midfielder, what do you got? 9, 12. Perhaps we can play. Yeah, let's put power back. Put Hardcastle. Woodyard. Um, look at my, he's looking knackered. He's looking really knackered. I don't know if I want to bring him off though. Uh, put Arnold out in the right. Ginnelly's played well. Oh. Uh, or. Well, yeah. Nah, you know what? I'll swap him for Hawkridge. Because Ginnelly is on ridiculous form of late. Maybe I'm going to regret not taking off Waterfall, but it just feels funny taking off a centre back. Nothing. Especially at 3 2, and he's a strong centre back. Arnold with the corner. What can he make for us? Nothing. Lesniak's on the outside of the box. He's going to go back to Arnold. The next ball across. No, he's going to cut inside on his own. Alan Power from distance. Keepers collected that pretty comfortably by the looks of things. But we are looking to be back on top again. I'm going to leave it on standard because control looked to uh, be where they were coming to get us. Arnold. Plenty of space. A uh, terrible pass there. Work hard. Get it back. Make up for your mistake. Raggett's cut that out. Marriott, I think he's offside there. Look, their keeper's come out for it. Marriott's gone round him. Oh, shocking. A little bit of better composure. He could have probably cut that back inside and just passed it in. We are up 3-2. Give him a concentrate now. Power's looking complacent. Not ideal. You have first game of the season for you. Second, maybe. Fitness is going to be a worry. Ten minutes to go. Should just make him sit back. Waterfall, what happened there? Don't be 3 3. 
Thank you, Paul Farman. What did Waterfall do there? Maybe I will bring him off. Could be a terrible idea, but the simple fact is... Just looking a bit dead, to be honest. This might waste a bit of time, too. Hmm. So fresh legs in the center there. Maybe we could drop him back as a more of a cover option. They are looking to go long. But I think... I think we've got this in the bag. Habigam. There's nothing to put it out, and that's the end of the game. So, a good win in the end. I think we're more dominant than the scoreline might suggest. 3-2. Um, uh, one, one of them being a blinding error from Paul Farman. Take it, and that sees us win both games. Marvellous. Should extend our run at the top. We'll have a quick look at the schedule in just a second. See when come back for episode three go oh quick check of the inbox lincoln and control yep that's sort of how i feel about it as way uh as well sorry merit leads the way give him a perb in front of goal thank you very much there we go three points clear now um only lost the one drawn a few games not important schedule so, got Wrexham, one of the biggest squads, so not too high at the moment. Dover generally tend to uh, do reasonably well. Um, I think we will come back for Dover. One, two, three, four. Dover and Braintree. Braintree being the Cowley's old job. I wonder if, actually, let's try. Danny, Cowley, where are you? Are you happy enough to come back yet? Or are you still sad? Yeah, still sad. I'll put him on the shortlist. I like him. Try and bring him back. Might be a little bit unnecessary. But hey, uh, and that rounds rounds off episode two. Uh, if you enjoyed, then please come back for the next one.